I'm sorry, we are only the definition of firearm. Oh, yes. Definition of firearm. Leave that in. Okay. So we'll take out the first two paragraphs, but then it'll say firearm is legally defined as, and we don't need actual possession. You can take out actual possession. So I've got it down to just two paragraphs of possession of firearm. Correct. So it would be in first degree, discharge of a firearm, causing death, and a firearm hits, and those two are hit. Got it. Then we have murder in the second degree and manslaughter. State, are you asking for any other lessers? No. Defense? No. Okay. So then we have murder in the second degree. This is the standard of instruction. Um, any, any objection to the standard of instruction from either side? No? Okay. And then in second degree murder, um, do you want the 1020 life in that? Uh, yes. Okay. I believe we do the same thing, though. I don't think it's necessary to do the, any, any of the findings other than uh, discharge, cause of death. Okay. Um, so we'll take out possession of a firearm, discharge, causing death. We'll find the defendant guilty of murder in the second degree with discharge of a firearm, causing death on the end. On the verdict form, it'll say yes, no. Um, on the uh, jury instructions, we'll take out those first two paragraphs. So the next paragraph will be at a firearm is, and we can take out actual possession. So again, it'll just be those two, two paragraphs under the possession of a firearm and discharge causing death, the first paragraph, and then the definition of a firearm. Does everybody understand that? It's for every problem if instead of giving the definition of firearm again, the court just says a firearm. And I just read it again. I always do. Makes it easier. I could probably do it in my sleep at this point. <laughs> um, then we have manslaughter, and um, it's the standard instruction for manslaughter. And then there's an aggravation of a felony by carrying a firearm because manslaughter doesn't have 1020 life. The state is asking, I assume, for the firearm instructions on the back page of the, um, so you, because they don't have 1020 life, they can get the firearm points on the back of the score sheet, but that would be an enhancement, so the jury has to find that. So I assume that's why you're doing it, state, is that correct? Uh, yes, it, it, in the event of a manslaughter conviction, it would also it would enhance it to a, up to 30 years instead of Right. 50. So the manslaughter instruction, is standard, and then we have the aggravation, which is if you find him guilty of manslaughter, you also find a reasonable doubt during the commission. He personally carried, displayed, threatened, or used, or attempted to use a firearm. He's guilty of manslaughter with a firearm, and then the definition of a firearm. And under this part of the verdict form, it will say... Do we? I don't believe so. 
defense, any reason we need that one? No? Okay, we'll take that out. Um, then, since the defendant is testifying, will we then, the defendant has become a witness in this case, and if we could put his and take out her? Well, morning, you look like you're doing the typing over there, so I'm going to address that to you. Um, then you have it's entirely proper for the lawyer to talk to a witness. That's standard. You may rely on your own conclusion. Any other, uh, the, we usually have child witness, but you don't have that in this case. So all the ones that don't apply, I don't see here. So everybody good with that? Yes? All right. Yes, sir. Then we'll take out the defendant not testifying. Um, the defendant's statements, I assume the defense wants that in, yes? Yes. Okay, that's in. Um, and then we go rules for deliberation. Um, the only one that I would take out is number seven, which is the jury is not to discuss any questions. I haven't had any. So I don't want them to think they should have asked questions and feel bad. So um, six, and then it'll be number eight will be number seven. And so it'll be one through seven. There's a cautionary instruction, verdict, um, criminally, legally interlock interlocking with special finding within the same count. We don't have that in this case, do we? Um, the special finding involving discharging a firearm causing death, I think, under the board that it needs to be involved. It's a new instruction. I've never seen it before. Okay, read it. I haven't, I haven't said it, so I need to. Under the notes, which did not include in the form instructions of the Supreme Court, it specifically referenced a case involving discharging a firearm.
specifically making noises in order to keep you up at night. Do you, do you, remember, do you remember hearing all of that? Yes. And were those statements and those descriptions of what Mr. Tudor would do, were they accurate? Well, I said it was accurate. And um, it was your belief that he did this specifically to prevent you from sleeping. Is that accurate? That's accurate. Because, because we, are, we were in the war. We were in war. You know, not in Israel. You, you said that you were at war. The two of you were at war. Yes. Now, I, you heard me ask the officers who went to your house uh, about a tent that was on top of your bed. Did you, did you hear that? Do you remember that? Yes. And did you put that tent on your bed to, so that you could drown the noise out coming from your next door neighbor? Yes. And I guess you also hooked up some radios or, or some speakers and, and, and to make, what, static noises, is that right? That's correct. I try, you know, other than that, I try other stuff to, for example, uh, tie the wind chime on the air condition out, you know, air condition out there. You tie the wind chime to make yeah. noises, to, yeah. to distract you from his noises? Yes. I, and the uh, blowing the uh, air purifier, I tried a lot of stuff. You tried a lot of stuff so that you could sleep, is that right? Yes. Were any of those, any of the things that you did, did they help? Uh, were you able to sleep or did you continue to have problems sleeping? You know, you were quiet, but then, you know, you won't have that anymore. I have to change. Now, I wanted to ask you about, um, you've heard the word premeditation before, haven't you? Yes. You know what that word means? Yes. What do you think that word means? It means plan or plan ahead. And this be premeditation. Planning or plotting ahead. Yes. Do you understand that there is no time requirement for someone to plan or plot something for premeditation purposes? Do you understand there's no time requirement? Yes, I understand. And do you understand that premeditation, the time, if there is a time requirement, it is only enough time for the person to have a chance to Set to change their mind, do you understand that? Yes. And is it your position that when you killed Mr. Tudor that it was not premeditated? Is that your position? Yes, thank you. And can you explain to the members of the jury, well, let me back up, start that. You heard during the course of the state's case that you, you were at war, as you say, with Mr. Tudor for many months, correct? Oh, yes. Four years? I mean, in those two years, I lost him, and I talked to him, listen, and this is why the state comes out with uh, you know, the evidence that I said, he said he can handle me, and this happened in those two years. Okay. It, it's a sequence. Now, so there was these issues with Mr. Tudor leading up to January 23rd, 2018. What? Why do you say that it, your shooting of Mr. Tudor was not premeditated? Why do you say that? Because I was not, have no any plans trying to kill someone that day. And it's just that every night, you know, we have war, not you know each other. And that day, I made a mistake. I took off. I sleep in a tent on the top of my bed, and I tried because that tent is, you know, too heavy, and it's time to collapse. So I went to get some help. Okay, so you put blankets over your tent. Blan blankets, uh, comfort. A comforter. Yes. And it was too heavy for the tent, so it did not. It was slowly collapse. So I went to get some help, and then I. 
then I basically attend the most this creative concept. And that's why I can't stay to the last. And this was the night before you shot this computer? Yes, it's uh, the, uh, the night of January. And the morning, early morning, though, to be So, you recall then on the morning of January 23rd, you went to have your will uh, formulated, right? Or, or notarized, right? right? And that was not part of your plan uh, to kill Mr. Tudor in the evil will? No. Because Usually I sleep until lunch time, try to sleep until lunch time, and then I woke up, and then I uh, microwave open and put it there, and I cool, and I went back to sleep until sleep over, I woke up again, and then I ate my own meal, and go to my brother, and then I went to sleep. And then, and I usually I didn't wake up then, way to the business hour, so the, uh, we were. This has been not a lot. And the day I was working on my, you know, they, I couldn't sleep because they, they were, you know, they shot. So you couldn't sleep, so you took the opportunity to, to, right. to take care of some business? Yes. yes. And you also went to a pawn shop to look for a, another magazine for your pistol, right? Yes. And that was a part of your plan to kill Mr. Tudor? No, that's been quite a while looking for it. But, see, because I call the uh, waste pen down over. And there's a tool and things start there. And I just want to so I like to So you wanted another magazine because you had a waistband that carried two magazines? Yes. And put, so that had nothing to do with any plans to kill Mr. Tudor? No, it has a, if I want to buy another one to kill Mr. Tudor, I would buy it on money immediately. But I was kind of out in shopping, you know. Far in shopping because the pawn shop, they sell it cheaper? Cheaper, much, much cheaper. And so that day I decided to go on the way for them to see their happy. Sometimes they don't, because people really feel that they're happy. Okay, let me ask you this. During the same time that you went to the uh, store to have your, your will notarized and to the pawn shop to buy the, another magazine, you also went to Walmart, didn't you? I did. And you remember what you bought at Walmart? Yes, I bought, uh, I picked up my own non order of the bag of cat food. Okay, you picked up an online order of a bag of cat food. Yes. Do you have cats? No, I, uh, I feed homeless cats every night. You feed homeless cats, okay. So you go to Walmart and you pick up what you had previously ordered, uh, a bag of cat food, anything else? And I bought two parents, though, you know. For yourself? For myself. So, would it be fair to say that at this point in time when we are talking about where you go to the pawn shop, you go to the UPS store, and you go to Walmart, that you had no intention of, of hurting or, or killing Mr. Tudor? Is, is that your position? Is that your testimony? Yes. And then you came home from the store and what happened? You saw you when you back up, you saw the video, you have seen the video of you emerging from your house, taking your gun, and walking to this computer's house. What led you to do that? In fact, when I came home, I I was hoping that I only see my next door, Mr. D. You, know, you were hoping what? I only I could not be seen. And you know, they didn't notice me, they I sleep back, so I can go to sleep. Okay, so, so you, came back, you came back and you were hoping that they did not see you come from back to the store so that you can go back into your house unnoticed and go to sleep. Yes. Okay. But then they noticed it. Those are the lady, I think she's Miss Pass, shouting at me again. She said, You are not going to sleep today. And then this way. I decided I, because one of my camera on the top. One of your what? A camera. So camera. Camera was up. And then I decided I went up. I decided to go up uh, on the roof to fix that camera. And then sit there again to sleep. And then I went up to the roof. While I was trying to fix the camera, 
and then stop that day shouting at them, you are not going to speak today. Then I don't know what happened to me. I just, you know. Came over later, go into my room, without it come there, you know, I, I had a whiskey to myself for a bit. Is that when you attach the rope when you're... Oh, no, the rope, I didn't even touch it. I didn't, you know, I didn't put it ahead of time there, you know. I thought I did that, then I came home. Then I was just don't know what to do. So I do that, so I do that. Then I think the first thing to do is that I open a computer. And then I put that machine, which I know I know down in my life, look down all those parts, why I can do it again. There, so when the police come, they can see it. And then I went to a watch, and that's why I carry a rope. Just want to tie it together. And then put my small that 22 caliber gun and my uh, last wheel from the police of so they can see it. And then I just try to hang myself. When I go down, it was too low, so I come out again, adjust it. And why well, then I put it here? And I was having a whole boy and then and I heard the police house, you know, silence is going on. And I thought to myself that any time police could blow it. And if I'm not dead at that time, if they put me down, I feel like the damage, I could come out at least for my life. So that's why I think it's better to surrender to have a visa injection by state. And then I open the call. And at least the detective, I think it's baby Moby, he was holding a gun in my front yard and called me to my next door his house. And he came to look at me and came away. He said, you're going to come to his house. So I went by the gun and I didn't talk my, you know, order. Just in case, of course, he said, just take me and I close the door, take out my gun, put it on the side of the door. Then I open the door again and I say, was and that's what the police was talking about. You came out with your yes. hands up. Well, I, and you said, I'm the one who shot him. Yes. All right. Um, Mr. Keevers, we're almost done. Let me just go back again to when you said when you came home after going to the stores that your the camera on top of your, the surveillance camera on top of your roof was out. Yes. And that got up on the roof and then after you fix it and, and you fixed it, is that, is that right? No, I didn't fix it. Okay. So it's not the camera I, that... I, in fact, I'm not very sure. Of course, after that, I came down. I didn't I did know whether it fixed it or not. I did it. And then I came down, I just broke my gun. I, I didn't look. So, and it was when you were fixing and trying to fix your camera on your roof that Miss Cox uh, shouted at you that you're not going to sleep today? Yeah, her voice is, is kidding me. You know, I can recognize her. And, and it was, and that created in you, you just... I, it, it's subconsciously, a lot of things in your mind. They, I, they, they, they kind of came me off. You know, for example, in my past history, the previous two, two, you know, I learned about it. Oh, I have some trigger to die die cute, die deep. And one of them even went to that yeah. And now I have this. So all that came back to you at that time? Yes, and plus the the morning, the night I could then sleep. Then I have I feel vulnerable because my head loss is protected from that. And I I, I wonder how I'm going to deal with this, you know. Those are all subconscious we see in my mind. That's why I think this way.
the state is going to ask some questions today. And I don't have a chance to come back up again and speak again before you leave the witness stand, okay? Okay.
the major interaction that you had with Lee was you going over there and apologizing for you making noises, right? Uh, and that's when he said, don't worry, we can handle you. No, this is not true, because one morning, one night at 12.30, I, when I'm moving in there in the first two years, a lot of nights I went out by myself with my kayak, you know, one right. night. Yes. And Mr. Key, you're not understanding. Um, well, Lee was not a part of any conversations at that point, was he? When you're going outside in the middle of the night or when you're moving stuff around. Can I give you an instant? The instant I had to so you may well, I'm not interested in what happened leading up to that conversation yet. I'm interested in the conversation you had with Lee. Okay? You understand? Yes. So the conversation you had with Lee involved you apologizing because you felt like you may have made noises or done things that upset him. Yes. So you were apologizing. Yes. And Lee's response was, don't worry, we can handle you. I'm sorry. Right? Yes, I'm just mostly. So our our walls seem to grow. Let's see, you know, we, you know, and previously you have a neighbors, they make more noise, and then he, basically you want to say I can handle it, not if I say I can handle it, but I know I know you know how he is. Right. Like this kind of we have big block of you know walls. Of course you, you of course you, but you're upset that he didn't use the phrase we can handle your noise. He used the phrase we can handle you, right? Yes, and, but that is no effect. That's just I know what it is. No effect to the second time that we begin a war game. Okay, so then this apparently, well, so when you had that interaction with Lee, that conversation, you apologized to him. You didn't bring up to him that he was making noise that was upsetting you, did you? No, because I applauded him. I explained that instant. He said, one night, midnight, I wish I came back. And he shouted at me, he said, you know, the next morning, 6 o'clock, you begin to make noise, shouting. And Jennifer come down from the stairs, asking ask him, say, why do you make all the noise? Now, he said, the time well, is you're talking, Mr. Pete, you're talking about a conversation. You could go over here going on in the house next door. Right? Yes, yes. Not a conversation that anybody had directly with you, right? No. No. Okay. No. I'm not asking about that. Okay. I'm asking about the conversation you had face to face with Lee. I apologize him to him for this incident. Right. You apologized to him for incident incidents that you thought could be a problem. Yes. You didn't bring up to him that there were any problems that he was making for you, right? No, but I confirmed it with okay. Jennifer. The answer is no. No. Alright. Now you were aware that uh, Jen was living there, Jennifer yes. Nichols, yes. at some point. And at first you didn't have a problem with her, right? No. And then at one point you have a conversation with Jennifer Nichols. Yes. Out in the yard. Yes. And uh, you brought up some of your concerns yes. about Mr. Tudor mm -hmm. to Jen. Yes. Saying that he was making noise. Uh, no. I, I said about an incident. About one was, specific incident. Do I? And, and Jen didn't deny it. So no, no. He said, oh, no, he's shouting for me, shouting at me, you know, so, because we are. So you, you brought up one specific incident where you heard Lee yell something. Yes. And Jen was telling you, oh, he wasn't yelling at you. No, he was yelling at the dog. He said, probably, it's not the dog. He said, probably, he's, he's getting here in the hook. At her. At her. Yeah. Okay. And then you felt like, Jen was taking leaves tonight because of that conversation, right? No, I asked Jen, said, no, that he said, you know, the guy in the office last night, who so went to me up, that's what he said. And Jen kept quiet. And I said, probably, I said, I keep a minimum noise, minimum noise. Probably my flower is coming off, coming off. All right, I'm going to research, I'm, I'm going to say what you just said to make sure we all understand. Yes, okay? Yes, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you were telling Jen, you're sorry for some noise you made coming and going fishing at night and the Just floodlight once. going on and off. Yes. Right? Just once. Yes. So you were communicating to Jen that you were sorry that you were causing, potentially causing that problem for them. Yes, because we complain about it. That's why. 
Brett, well, Lee did not have a face-to-face -face conversation with you where he explained that, did he? No. No. <clears throat> you were telling Jen, you were sorry, and that Lee, you thought Lee was yelling at you at one point, and Jen explained to you Lee wasn't yelling at you, she, he was yelling at me. That's the way the conversation went, right? No. I say, he said the noise that he made, the DJ did not get money, making a noise, it probably is a hook. No, 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 probably because there is something going on. And then I told him that we, we I said, no, he said, the family stole last night, the police is bring me up. That's what he, what he said. And you then, told her that's what he said? Yes. Okay. And, and Did you overheard in the house, not the face-to-face -face conversation? Oh, no, the one in fact, I heard is that I, he made a big noise. Then I came out of the house, standing at the side of my house. And that's why he, you know, denied the police to go me up. So, again, I'm trying to restate because you're a little hard to understand. Okay. You heard, you, you came outside of your house and you overheard Lee say something, which led you to believe that Lee was making a noise or yelling at you on purpose. Yes. Okay. So, you have that conversation with Jen. Yes. And she takes Lee's side. Right? She says, you was probably yelling at me. Is right. right. No, no, no yelling. The noise. I said, the morning you make a lot of noise. You know, boom, boom, a lot of noise. He said, the noise. He said, oh, the noise. Oh. She, was, she was saying he was probably making noise accidentally. Yeah, I heard. And I told her that, you know, this, this, the guy next door, last night we listened to me, uh, which means it's me, not the way to get her. And then she's quiet. And that's why I told I said, probably, it's my blood light because the last night I didn't make any noise. I, you know, I was so quiet, I concerned about them. Okay. And, and probably, and then Jen confirmed that yes, uh, he doesn't have blood light. And that's why I take the blood light on the corner. You know, off. Based on this conversation, you did not like Jen. No, right. no, I like Jen because that's why I talked to her. At the beginning, she was Before like, this conversation, after this conversation, you felt like Jen was on the side. Oh no, we have a second conversation again. That's all. Okay. No, we did that. I try to use Jen kind of indirectly interact with me. You know, I kind of explain to Jen, Jen may explain to me. You had a second conversation with Jen? Yes. Out in New York? Yes. About the same type of thing? Um, the one, no, the one we were talking about dogs, cats. I was looking at my house with my, my friends. And, and Jake went to get her coffee, then came back, saw me, and he came, she came to talk to me. And we're talking about dogs, cats, you know. And, and she said something that upset you? No, no. This, why she upset me is because they manipulated her into joining, knocking. Oh, so you heard noises coming from next door yes. that you attributed to Jen? No, I, okay. At the beginning, we would work and not have a lot of time, so I cannot talk. All right, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking about me. I'm asking about Jen. Yes. Jen made noises yes. that you attributed, or well, you heard noises that you attributed to Jen. There's a reason for that. I'm not asking for the reason. This, this. I'm not asking for the reason. I'm asking. I attribute, yes, I attribute to her. Okay. And so you believe that Jen had joined the League in the war? Yes. And so now Lee and Jen are on one side of the battle and yes. you're on the other? Yes. Okay. And obviously that was long before she moved out, right? Yes, that's it. First two years. Okay. And you agree Jen moved out approximately July of the year before? I don't know when she moved. But I really don't know. Months before this incident happened, as far I, as you know. I, I didn't know because I didn't know she moved out and here I will uh, discover it. That's okay. Why I then you knew that Jen had not been there for a little while. No, I haven't seen her, but I thought, you know, maybe she used the other door to come in because. Okay. Of... Well, let's talk about that for a minute. Okay. There were times when Lee would leave for work and you would hear a noise over there. Yes. And you thought that Lee had snuck back and entered his house in a way that you couldn't see from your surveillance cameras. 
right? There's a sequence of this. I'm not asking for sequence. Is that a true statement? This is a true statement. Okay, that is all I'm asking for. Second period. I'm not asking for that, Jack. This is probably just constantly interrupting. I'm trying to answer his question. Counsel? This is Cross. The defendant needs to listen to the question and try to ask, answer it the best he can. I, I told him. Yeah. No, he, he's being asked a yes or no question, and he wants to make an explanation. Just as you would do on cross, the prosecutor is trying to get him to concentrate on the question and make it smaller. So I understand everybody's trying to do their best. It's very difficult to understand what the defendant's saying. He tends to go off script of where we're going. So we're talking about Jen, he's talking about Lee, we're talking about Lee, he's talking about Jen. I think everybody's doing the best they can. So we're going to move on. Well, okay? I'd ask the prosecutor to make it more Overruled. clear that he's asking you. Know, Overruled. Thank you. Overruled. Proceed. So you did keep it going, right? Yes. And you put down a lot of this. Same stuff that you're telling or have told the jury or told the detectives, right? Is that fair? These prior instances that we've been discussing, not in detail. Yes, some of it, yes. Okay. Now, when was the last time you wrote in your journal? I remember I did put a curly can of mine, but the, your, can I, I, I just want to know when the last time was. It, it's pretty, the, the copy that you gave to me, the discovery, discovery, I think that's the old copy. That's why I, I asked the check. Okay. It's the working copy. The working copy is up to date. You may have heard some witness. You may. Mr. Key, I want you to look at these two paragraphs. Okay. And see if you'll agree with me that you wrote these two paragraphs in or around 2016. Okay, so you think you wrote these two paragraphs in 2017? Yes. I think it's, I wrote in this type 2016 by Subi. I think it's 2017 because okay. when he moves in, it's 2017. So you agree you put these two paragraphs thought, yes, in 2017? Okay. Yeah, I thought it was time. <coughs> you were under the impression <coughs> that somebody may be moving in the upstairs room in Lee's house? Yes. Okay. And you wrote, Lee knows that he is not getting an upper hand in this war and we are in a deadlock, right? That, those are your words? Yes, I think so. Okay. And you say, now he devises a plot by renting his upstairs room on top of the garage to a young guy who has moved his furniture in already but probably will live in on November 1st, 2016. That's what you wrote and you yes. meant 2017. Yeah, I think it's 2017 because they don't like check uh, the guy's statement. Okay. It says to me that, it's 17. That's okay. I'm, I have no issue with that. Okay. But, you did write that, those words, even if you were incorrect on the, the year. Yes, I did. Okay. This would put him in direct conflict with me in the war because of knockings. Yes. Lee and maybe Jane, you meant Jen then, right? Jen, yes, I did. Lee and maybe Jen sleeps either in the living room or somewhere on the other side of their house. Right? You wrote that. Yes. I won't give it up by stopping knocking as long as Lee's keeping harassing me or moving away this time because my next neighbors could be the same bullies like my previous and current neighbors. Yes, yes. I am going to fight this to the end and give a lesson to all bullies to learn. Besides, cunning and manipulative people like Lee disgust me. Yes. Those are your words. Yes. In 2017. Yes. It all depends how it goes when the new guy moves in. The worst scenario would be a murder-suicide. Your words. Yes. In 2017. Yes, sir. I'm going to skip some of this part here, but you discussed hanging, right? Yes, correct. You 
say here, the day before I bought a rope from Home Depot, right? Yes. And that would have been 2017? Yeah, I suppose so. Okay. Yeah. And then you say, I need to get this document done so people will know why this murder-suicide happened. Yes. Your work, right? That's my work. Yes. In 2017? Yes. I also need to have my will done to donate my house, car, and tangible stuff to Salvation Army. I have already talked to Salvation Army. Yes. Your words. This is my word. Yes. In 2017. Yes. I need to leave my money split between an animal shelter and maybe Salvation Army. Then I need to plan how to get Lee, my primary target, yes. and Jen together. Yes. Your words. Yes. In 2017. Yes. After that, I'll get Bill of the other side of the neighbor. Then I'll hang myself in my garage before cops arrive. Hopefully 20 minutes is enough for hanging. That's my word, yes. Your words? Yes. In 2017. That's correct. Okay. So, you would agree with me that on January 23rd of 2018, you believed the lady over at Lee's residence was Jen. Yes. And you hadn't seen Jen there in a long time. Yes. So when that lady was there, you thought Lee and Jen are both back in that residence, right? Yes. And so that day, you go outside, and in your front yard, near your water pipe, right? Yes. And you yell threats at Lee. Yes. You call him a bitch. Yes. He's never there face to face with you, right? No. Yes. He's in the house somewhere, you believe. Yes. But you're there outside yelling threats at him. Yes. You're saying, come out and let's handle this, let's fight. Right? No, I don't say that's why. That's okay. all. Alright. You didn't go knock on his door, did you? No. You didn't want to have a face-to-face -face conversation with him where you invited him out, did you? Oh, I will. This is why I put it, I call him. Because this is why I stand on the border. I don't go over to his property. You stood on the border of your yards and you yelled at him? Yes. Okay. And then you went you, to get your will notarized, right? Uh, out of many times I go out until my anger succeed. And then I decided to go sleep again. But the year, the lady year again. That's why exactly all this business out. I, Mr. Key, perhaps you didn't hear my question. You decided to go get your will notarized, right? Okay, yes, to get okay. something done. But was, so and you would agree with me that getting your will notarized pertains to what you wrote in your journal about having to make sure your will is done and your stuff goes to salvation on you, right? That's correct. Okay. Because you're getting your will notarized because you're planning to hang yourself later, right? No. No. Okay. So you do go get your will notarized. Yes. And you met Miss Lieber, who we heard from. I'm sorry. You met Miss Lieber, who testified. Okay. Right? Right. Later on, you go get another magazine for your firearm, right? Yes. Your 9mm firearm. Yes. They didn't have one. Yes, that's right. And then you go back home. No. I well, mean, you went a couple places and then you go back. Yes. All right, so you get home. You have your guns. You have extra magazines, right? Yes. That's original, original extra magazine, yes. Okay. And then you go over across the street to Lee's residence, right? That's out of fix try to fix my camera. And then they uh, uh, and I just want to Yeah, then out of those instead and I will do the case house. Okay. And Judge, may I uh, use the big board? Okay. <coughs>
Mr. Tudor is right. Yes. Okay. Just, just, yes. No, just 
back down you know kind of this moment you know and he's over here still asking you what did i do joe right It could be because he don't continue to say what they are doing, what they are what they are doing. No, sometimes he just, you know, take down. Okay. And the most you ever say to him is, you know what you did. Right? Yes, that's correct. And I did say something inside, say, where is Jen? And he said, is not here. Okay. And so this person on his knees is Lee. Yes. Right? Yes. And he's got his hands up. Right? Yes. And the person in the red right there with the firearm is you. Yes. Right? Yes. And right now, I'm going to pause it. Right now, you're trying to figure out how you can shoot Lee in the head without shooting him in the face. Right? That's correct. Okay. Because you're trying to kill him at that point. That's correct. Okay. And that was you just shooting, you actually shot two shots at the body, right? No, just one shot. And there's, can I explain? There's a malfunction of gun. That's why it's always total four shots. Okay. Yeah, when I, because he, he turned his face towards me, then I couldn't take it. Then I thought maybe I shot one of the ball, hit him, and I can get a head shot. Then I just pull once. And I just hold one shot. And there's nothing, you know, and that we caught it. And there's no fully jumping up. So that's why I know there's a problem this time. I don't know how it goes. He's coming out two shots, I don't know. But from what I say is that I one shot in the body, one shot in the head, outside. Okay, but one shot in the body, we'll say at least one shot in the body at that point, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Stage exhibit 95, 93, and 92. You agree? You yeah, had I don't to look at those. You know, to leave. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not pleasant to look at, is it? I don't want to look at it. Yeah, it's you did this though, right? I did it, yes. You did this? I don't, yes. Okay. And then you purposely make sure to shoot Lee in the head, right? Yes. In the back of the head. Yes. Not in his face. No. And you knew that shooting him in the head would kill him. This could. And you used Now you use the, the Taurus 9 millimeter? This could. You had a 22 on you, right? This could. But you have heard that sometimes 22 bullets can bounce off somebody's head, right? Yes. So you want to make sure you use the 9 millimeter. Yes. Because you knew the 9 millimeter would kill him. This way. I'm showing you speed 60, you agree? Yes. This is the firearm you use to shoot Lee. Yes. All times. Yes. And that last shot, um, yes. this is what you did, right? Yeah, I saw one hole in the bed. You saw this hole? Yes. Judge, I'm objecting to this guy. He's harassing the witness. I agree already. Why are you going to show me? You know what showed him the pictures? He's trying to show them again. He's clearly trying to harass him. Uh, overall, we'll take the pictures down. And for the record, that was states 91 to 90. You agree? Yes. That's what you did? Yes. All right. And then you left Mr. Tudor there on the grass in the front lawn, right? Yes. Now, did you see him there, lying there? Yes. Did you think to yourself, oh no, what did I do? I have to call emergency personal or emergency services to try and get him help? No. No, because that's what you meant to do, right? Yes. You meant to leave him there on the lawn dead. That's right? the answer. 
Overruled. Go ahead. Yes. So right now, you are inside the residence. Having killed Lee, you are back inside the residence, right? Yes. You go back inside the residence because you are looking for Jen. Yes. So you go back upstairs? Yes. And now you want to try and get in that door that you couldn't get in before? Go ahead. Okay. And you use the gun. Yes. You shoot a bullet in order to gain entrance into this room. Yes. No Jen. Yes, correct. Now if you have found Jen, you're going to shoot her. In fact, I'm not sure because if Jen says sorry or something like that, I let her go. Okay, if Jen says sorry. What? Or you know. If she doesn't, if she says what what's the matter, what did I do, you're gonna shoot her and kill her. No, for her, I was I I let her know. Let's go now. Oh, for her you are going to tell her why you might shoot her. What? Okay. For Lee, you made sure to just shoot him then. Yeah, because he knows everything. Oh, because you think that Lee already knows everything. He may you could uh, Okay, I'm hopeless okay. okay. <coughs> and you didn't find Jen upstairs? So then you went down and you saw Dakita Cox, right? No, I never saw her. If if I saw her, I would ask her, where's Jen? And I was in a frenzy. I saw her check the room, we came out, search the room, we came out. I saw her search, check the room, then that's where this cast is. I know this used to be very more. This, then become James, then the town become someone, town become the air conditioner guys. And I then I, 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 I don't know what happened. So you did go in and check that room? I didn't check those two rooms, I just checked upstairs Jen's room. Oh, because you thought, you didn't think that Jen's bedroom would be. No, I, I in my mind, for the, you know, time of reason, just for Jen, or, you know, I didn't check those two rooms. So you expected Jen to be upstairs, because that's where you thought she lived before? That's correct. Okay. And you never saw the key to Cox? No, never. But I saw him because I could cast there. So he used to have a comment. But it's, it's just my mind is more functional. It just escaped my mind. I didn't even check those. And I did so good. Good cut before, before, you know, the bottom line so it ended up well. I did so good to see who was in there. So you did see the key to Cox eventually, right? Yes, eventually. She was hiding behind my fence. Okay. And at that point, you knew that's not Jen. That's correct. And she shouted at me, saying, Oh, if I have a gun, I will just put it on your head. Then I knew that's all of it. That's must be the baby. You know, in this house. And her voice is that she shouted at me. Okay. So in a moment, you're going to come out of that house and you're going to walk back to your house. Yes. And that's you right there at 122.48. Yes. And you go back into your house. Yes. You make sure that your will is there on your freezer. Uh, no, at the time I was just wondering so many things to do, you know, and I was don't know what to do. Then the first thing I went, I went to my room to open the computer and put the my journal out so please come and see what's going on with that you know. And then I take the wheel, my wheel, and grab going to get a door and I went to uh, watch and then put a, this uh, 22 power gun and the uh, wheel on the wheel freezer. And I was putting myself next to the freezer so please you can see all the seats. So you came over here and you were going to commit suicide? Yes. And you would agree with me, shooting Lee, murder, and committing suicide by hanging, that's exactly what you wrote about doing in 2017. Yes, but I okay. was not expecting it. That, I was trying to move away. That, that, that is all I need. You agree that you wrote about it? Okay.
the uh, instructions to the jury, tell them if they want to leave at that point, that's when they need to leave because we're going to lock the court. Okay? Okay. All right, anything else we need to discuss? No, no, no. All right, we'll be in a recess to 310. All rise, of course, in recess. Thank you.